Welcome to the 18th tutorial on beginning CSS. In the last video we dealt with the CSS box model and we're going to continue on with that subject. Now of course we talked about the four boxes. There was the content which is right in here. There was the padding which is the area between the text and the border. And then there was a border and that's this black border we created here. And then there was the margin. Now we didn't specify a margin but as I said the browser creates a little bit of margin uh, on the outside. So that's what this is right here between the edge of the browser and the edge of our border. So let's go ahead and close this now and we're going to edit the style sheet a little bit. Actually sorry we're going to edit the uh, HTML source first. So let's open that up and let's maximize this. So what we want to do here is we're going to actually duplicate uh, this class. So we're going to make a para 4 here. We're going to call this para 4 and let's go ahead and save that and now let's open up our style sheet and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste uh, and create our class here and we're going to call this para 4 of course and let's change the color of this to black so they're a little bit different we'll keep everything else the same for now let's save this and we'll open up our web page again and there you can see now we've got two paragraphs that stand out very nicely on our web page. Now we're going to go ahead and start to work with margins. Now let's say for this second paragraph that we created, we want a little bit more margin. We want a little bit more space here between the edge of the page and our element. So let's go ahead and close this out now. And let's go down here. And so we're just going to specify margin. And we're going to give this 20 pixels. Whoops. And let's go ahead and save this. And there you can see we have 20 pixels of margin now. Create some extra space around our element. Okay, so uh, that's one thing you can do. Now, let's say um, you want to create some margin here at the top. And you want a little bit more room between these two elements. And remember, these are boxes. Every element in the web page has a box system around it. And uh, that's what we talked about in the last video, of course. But let's say we want to create some space here between these two elements. So let's go, let's close this out. And this is where we're going to use uh, some of these parameters over here. So let's go ahead and specify margin hyphen top. And we'll give this 50 pixels of space. And let's save this. And let's go here. And there you can see we've got more space now between these two elements. So you guys get the idea here. You can move any of these elements around where you specifically want them on your web page. That's what these properties do. They allow you to get very specific so you can control where everything goes on your web page. And that's really the beauty of the CSS box model. Okay, so let's say we really want to get drastic here, and let's open up our web page again. Let's say we want to put this element all the way, we want this over on the right. We want, we're going to put a picture here or something eventually. So let's say we want to put this uh, element all the way to the right. So let's, um, let's actually close this out, and now let's go ahead and put in margin hyphen left. Let's give this a big number because we're going to have to move this a long ways. Uh, let's say this is 400 pixels. We're going to move this 400 pixels. We open this up and there you can see we've moved this over now and maybe we would put a menu here or something or some sort of uh, picture. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now the same properties that we are using here in margin um, are also the same property types for padding. So let's go ahead and uh, play around with this a little bit. Let's add a padding left property and let's go ahead and add uh, 40 pixels to that and we'll save this we'll open this up again and there you can see we've got some extra space here as opposed to this side and so that's how that works okay let's go ahead and actually let's not keep that um, let's go ahead and get rid of that we'll save our style sheet so you guys can play around with these um, parameters and moving elements around you can go ahead and play around with these yourself now there is one final thing I want to point out the box model as I said in the last video is in every single element every one of these elements has a box around it we could actually put a border around the body in fact let's do that let's go ahead and copy and paste uh, the border from our paragraph into the body 
And let's make this, uh, so this stands out, we'll make this four pixels. And then let's go ahead and type in aqua marine. That's a color again we can use. I spelled it wrong. There we go. Let's save this. If we open this up, there you can see it actually, <laughs> there's the box. And you can see the margin that the browser actually adds outside of it, right? This is the extra margin that goes around uh, our entire web page. And so um, you see how the box model actually contains everything. Look how close it is here. This extra margin, as I said, is added by the browser. So that's one thing you can do if you want to see how the boxes are aligned in your web page. You can just add a temporary border to see how everything's lining up. That's one good way uh, to do this. Okay, and let's actually remove that. We're not going to keep that. Um, so we'll get rid of that. And now we'll do a save. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. We will continue on in the next video with the box model. And we're actually going to work against an image. So we'll change the content from um, text and we'll actually put an image and use the box model and uh, put a border around the image, some, some extra goodies. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.